uh, and to create the SPF record, we kind of need to understand what an SPF record is. The SPF record is just a special text record, so it is always of type text in DNS, that defines a list of servers that are allowed to send email as your domain. So the format of the SPF record always begins with this, the V equals SPF1, and then we add each of the mechanisms that we're going to use to say that email is going to be allowed from these sources. So in a very simple setup, so if you're only using Office 365 to send email, for example, this would be your SPF record. You would have V equals SPF1. You would have an include to include the record spf.protection.outlook.com, and we would add a dash all at the end, which says to perform a hard fail for any other source that's not included in this SPF record. A hard fail, uh, in most cases, is going to reject mail that comes from a source that's not listed in your SPF record. So this is essentially you telling the internet that if you receive an email that comes from a location that's listed in spf.protection.outlook.com, then accept it. We're considering that to be valid email sent from our domain. If it comes from anywhere else on the internet except for, for that location, then reject it because we don't consider it a valid source. 